So after after Fournette went Thielen, and Mike's on the clock with a couple of picks, I'm fairly certain I know one of these two. Yes, you know the one that I am taking right now. I am taking DJ Moore, yes. who I the breakout was real. I think it will sustain. It feels like he's teetering on the edge of my guy territory for you. Uh, look, I I wouldn't mind it. I feel like I kind of am the only the, the only member who's waving the flag. Oh lately. no. Are you in? I'm I'm totally in. If I if where do you if, have him ranked? If Amari Cooper wasn't there, DJ Moore would have been my next pick. He's my oh, wide receiver. Oh, okay. He's my wide receiver. That 10. makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, no, I'm in on supported. I'm in on DJ Moore. I think that's a good pick. All right, and then I don't think I will be leaving a fourth round without this fella. Uh, there's there's an extra incentive here because he's actually there is a wide receiver who is one rank ahead of the player I'm going to take. And that, that player uh, is Robert Woods. But now I get to send Robert Woods back to Andy and see if he tilts that he's like, <laughs> I have to take two Rams oh, he on this squad. I was wondering from I the moment I drafted Cooper Cup whether I would be <laughs> live on the air trying to have to make a double Rams and decision. And I have been intentionally making it happen. I love it because that means Woods could get to me. He could, but... So darn if I do or darn if That's I don't right. now. That's you what you can't set up. win no matter who you are. So you took two DJs. Double DJ. I did. I, I love it. I got DJ Chark. He is my pretty much my auto pick in the fourth round these days. Now, that's interesting because by taking DJ Chark, you're passing on Robert Woods, you're passing on AJ Brown, and you're passing on Calvin Ridley, a player that all three of us look to yes. have a breakout season. But DJ Chark is just too enticing. D DJ Chark broke out, I believe, in Gardner Minshew. Uh, the more I look into the metrics of what he was actually able to accomplish as a rookie thrust into action, and it's like DJ Tark broke out. Calvin Ridley, we are projecting him to break out, but he's still the number two on the team. DJ Chark is not. Uh, for me, usually that this uh, this turn would would be Robert Woods and DJ Chark, but DJ Moore was there. It's too entertaining to leave me with this situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's more because DJ Moore dropped. And I wasn't expecting him to be there. So because we have the beauty of being live and doing this uh, for the benefit of our listenership, for the Foot Clan, I want to de debate the merits mm. or the pros and cons of this situation. It, it is extremely rare. Now, I, I don't think any of us would have any hesitation with uh, Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley right. potentially being our two wide receivers. But there are some pitfalls, right? The mm -hmm. Atlanta Falcons have a terrible week. Matt Ryan is off. They face a difficult defense. Your wide receiver core could have issues. Same situation with Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. No Brandon Cooks there. These two guys should be on the field for the majority of snaps. Should be, yes. Should be. But what is what is your inclination? <laughs> you know, I'm I, hesitant with other players that I like on the board. I have A.J. Brown sitting there, who I talked about yesterday as somebody I loved in the fourth round. I have running backs I could choose from. I got a long wait till my next pick. I could go a Chris Carson. I could go a, a, a Lev Bell, David Johnson. I don't think I will. <laughs> I think I'm going to go wide receiver here. If you're going wide receiver, so there's there's a bunch of different you know theories on stacking players. A lot of times people love to stack quarterbacks with wide receivers. You get to double up on that passing touchdown. Um, and people avoid stacking, say, a wide receiver with a running back. I disagree with that. I think stacking a wide receiver with a running back is fine because you get more consistency even though you get less big blow-up games. Now, with the wide receiver, wide There's receiver a problem, combo, wide receiver, wide receiver. that I don't know if would be as consistent as a wide receiver running back because if the passing game struggles in a game, it's going to affect both receiving options. I would probably not do that, but I am, you know, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I am super happy with Robert Woods or A.J. Brown, so I just want one of those guys to make it. Historically, what we've seen from the Rams, you should be perfectly fine. Like Cooper Cup and Robert Woods will both have high volume. They had high volume when there was a third wide receiver in the mix, and I'm not too concerned that that Josh Reynolds or Van Jefferson, like, are, they're going to come in and snatch up all this, this volume. It's... Yeah, and Robert Woods was a top five fantasy wide receiver over the back part of last year when it, you know, the the vaunted positive regression came back, and he caught a couple touchdown right. passes. Was back on the field. Uh, he's who I have ranked higher. He's who I have more confidence as a, you know, you look at two situations. AJ Brown fifty receptions last year. 
Robert Woods could push for 100 receptions this year. Mm -hmm. Considering the the format, where I have him ranked, I'm going to double up. All right. Nice. Robert Woods is my pick. And A.J. Brown went next, which means Jason gets neither of them. Now, will you be petitioning for the Rams to play with two footballs? Well, yeah, yeah. You so can't that, catch them both yeah, on the so same. Yeah, so Cup and Woods could catch a pass on the same play. I'm giving Cooper a, a phone call, and we'll see if he can throw a couple. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If those were the best few minutes of your life, you should probably click the subscribe button and check out a full-length episode.